I've never been so excited to see a stick in my life! Hey, why don't you, uh, stick around? <laughs> oh, how very droll. Welcome back, everybody, to Raft Survival. Um, I do say welcome back because I did do a one-shot of this two days ago. And I determined I just want to make it a full series. I had... I had a lot of fun doing just that 16-minute video, even though I messed up uh, uh, pretty bad. But uh, I think I will make the end up making this a full survival. Uh, if you want to see, if you want to keep seeing more of my series, uh, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It costs you nothing, but means the world to me, and you'll feel good about supporting small YouTube. Uh, I will be relying on you guys as a community a, a bit here. Um, as I have said in many previous videos, I am definitely of, mo of a more old-school Minecraft play style. Um, I really stopped playing Minecraft after about 1.5 in survival games. Um, I did continue on adventure maps, but adventure maps don't necessarily use a lot of the mechanics of survival. In fact, they use basically none of them other than eat. So I will be relying a little bit on you guys as a community to help guide me through on some of the newer mechanics. Um, I have been getting some good comments from uh, from users. I'm actually going to consult one right... Um, going to look up a name here real quick. Oops. While I'm looking that up here, while that's loading. Oh. Uh, Holla Deadly EST. I see all your comments. I love them. Please keep them coming. It's definitely going to help out a lot. So, since I'm guess since uh, the one shot basically doesn't exist, welcome to Raft. Do crafted that guy over there. Handy tips: make a cobble generator. Get to the small floating island to unlock the shops. I think that's that or that. Probably that. Um, get to the Nether as soon as possible. A mob farm early on will help a lot. Place grass to spawn animals. At the depth of the ocean is loads of dirt and sand. Make an auto wheat farm. Do an auto wheat farm. Uh, make an iron farm by curing zombie villagers. And most important thing is to have fun. And have fun we shall. Uh, I think I'm too near to actually spawn mobs right now. I think there's no land. I'm not far enough away from land for there to be mobs to spawn. But I'm going to place down the torches anyways, because it's just going to make it a little lighter. So my end goal here um, of this survival, if possible, um, I don't know if it is or not on this map, is to fight the Ender Dragon. I don't think it's possible on this map. Uh, if that is not the case... Oh. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. No. Stuff will float back up to the top. I am fine. The first thing I really want to do is increase the my landmass that I'm working with here. Especially around the dirt block here. Which is where all my farms are going to be. Oh, also I should leave enough for a crafting table. Actually, nope, don't throw that there. Put that there, that's fine. I expect stuff to be kind of floating back to the top here. Yeah, there we go. That's off doing its thing. Next, I would like to grab the bucket of lava, but before I do that... Actually, no, I'll just use this one plank. There. Actually, no, I am going to grab this one log. So I need to get stone. So to do that, Cobblestone Generator is going to be my first objective. Is going to be my very first objective here. Take this, make some logs, and I'm going to extend out this way again. And I do believe... Ooh, a stick. Nice. <laughs> I've never been so excited to see a stick in my life! Hey, why don't you, uh, stick around? 
<laughs> oh, how very droll. Let's disconnect this. What I want to do is kind of disconnect this wooden block that will probably end up burning up from the rest of my raft, because I do not want random fire happening. I think that's far enough. I'll leave that there to kind of do its thing. And do its thing it shall. In the... Oh, that already grew. Okay, I guess in the meantime... Let that simmer back down. I guess in the meantime, let's first build up a wooden axe. I think the trick to surviving this is to get just wood as fast as I possibly can. That expand the land. Yes. Oh, that wooden block didn't actually burn up. That that is surprising. So I have a couple of objectives here. Uh, this episode, expand the landmass, cobblestone generator. Next episode, uh, expand the landmass over to that shop and go see what all's over there. I already know what's over there because I may have gandered in a playthrough beforehand. But, did I use up all my wood? I think I did. Oops. Might as well get this. Wait, no, I didn't use all my wood. What am I saying? It's free real estate. So, actually, so how do I want to do this? Yes, so this episode... Entering the common age. Very nice. So if you watched the last episode, I may or may not have <laughs> turned my, my uh, lava source block into uh, obsidian. Big oops on that one. What I want to do here... Actually, I still want to... One of my buddies yesterday, Brian, was telling me how to do a lava generator on here. And I was listening super hard, super intent, until he completely lost me. I'm really not totally sure the best way to do a cobblestone generator. That'll work. I'm not liking this so far. Hang on. Be like super cautious here, because again, I do not need a repeat of last time. I'll let this. Break this, yes. Contain the lava. Another. Perfect. There. Now that lava generator is pretty much self contained. So I'm thinking about, so objectives for today, we obviously got this, this done, and I want to expand the landmass that I have to work with. I think those are all fairly reasonable objectives.
So there is apparently a plethora of... I like the, the book said there is a plethora of dirt and sand at the bottom of the... of the map. And I'm reminded of a trick I learned a while ago here. So I'm going to drop you there. Perfect. And I'll get these couple of... I'm going to convert this watermelon into a melon seed. I don't have a hoe. Oh wait, but I do have the capability of making one. Melon seed. Chink. Get some more cobble here. I'm going to upgrade to full cobble tools. Uh, so that's going to be enough for... That's the pickaxe. That's enough for an axe. I would like a sword. Oh, nice. That already... Uh, this thing. fix that. Before I do that, I want to convert over a few sticks. And cool. so I more or less have all of the tools that I'm really going to need. Let's fix the holes in my, let's fix the holes in my raft. Nope. Oh well, it'll come back. They always do. Stuff now floats in water eventually. I did not know that. Here I am panicking that oh no, my wood's lost forever! And it's coming back slowly but surely. I kind of want to seal off this lava because I am very accident prone. Don't want like anything to happen. Look at that. Get a few more here. Alright, good enough. I would come back. Yep, it did. Surrey Bob. Nice. So fill in all of those holes. I've got the start of a farm here. Ooh, I can actually already test the theory. Five. For, I'll just throw you. I want to expand out this way. Ooh, actually, do I have any sticks? Oh, I have enough to make sticks, which is all that I really Ooh, while I'm here, let's build a furnace! Nice. Real nice. For the sugar cane, I have an idea. 
let's first build this. Actually, no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Dump all of this. Two sugar canes. Shovel. I hope this still works. I will bring a torch. I hope this still works. If not, I'm about to die with... On dig. Oh, wow. That still works. Hell yeah. Ooh, but unfortunately, there's shit here now. Damn. Oh, shit. I need to get to the surface and stat. Come on. Ooh, bummer. Okay, so... Next time I go down, I need to be more prepared. But I know that the trick will work. So if you place down two sugar cane underwater, it stops... Basically stops water from... It makes a breathable spot. Um, I'm also not playing with keep inventory. At least not this time around. So that death is kind of impactful. I was not expecting drowned already down there. Next time I go, definitely gonna need to arm up. Ooh, an apple. That's looking a-okay. So I've got fuel. I have the ability to make torches now. So I can prevent things from spawning. Now what is it? Is it one to every four of these is the conversion rate ends up being? I'll just throw all five in there. Make some coal or charcoal. I can't believe there's drowned down there. Nope, oh, it's still a one to one. That's fine. Let's turn this into that. Wait, no. Shoot. I already fucked it up. And I guess we'll kind of end the episode with a little more mining. I wish I had an interesting mining tale for you, a, a general recant of my youth or something like that. But unfortunately, I, I don't. I have nothing to recant of my youth. Two coal. I'll need. I will convert some of this into torches, or I guess just one, because coal is the more efficient cooking fuel. Build a little bit this way. And I am basically underneath it already. Okay, not too bad. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, right. I want to throw this here. I want to scatter just a few torches around. 
just to keep things from spawning because I'm not ready for it yet. What's this? Sand? Shove. Oh, that's the stuff that... When I died, this is my stuff. Well, that's convenient. But if I die down there, there's very little consequence because everything will just kind of come back up. Nice, good to know. Trimming back that. I heard something. And I didn't like it. Sam, I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. But I have it, which is nice. Um, another question for the people kind of watching. I noticed that leaves are decaying much more rapidly now. Is that a new feature, or is that just something in this... Uh, is there like a plugin involved in this map? If it's a feature, I got no problems with that. I mean, it's kind of nice. I'll throw that there. Throw that. So I got a good collection of stuff already. Or I feel like I have a pretty good collection of stuff. Melon plant there is growing. I get up there next. For that, I will probably need ladders, which I honestly forgot how to make. because I don't need the food immediately. I'm going to grab a little bit, just a little bit more cobble. I should really figure out how to make this a server and like bring my friends on to do, to do this. It's very hard. I notice how hard it is. With an adventure map, there's always something happening, always something to, always something to keep going. With a survival, you're basic. I'm basically carrying the series on by myself. That's a pretty good amount. I think. And stone cobble that turns into sand. So for sand, sandstone, sandstone turns into cobweb. I need a... How the hell do I build a ladder again? I forgot how to build a ladder. So that's sad. That's probably a little sad. Hey, I remember how to build a ladder. That's good, right? Probably good. You haven't grown yet, so that's okay. I'm going to need these turn into a bunch of these. Here. Here. One more ladder. I probably brought too much ladder with me, but that's okay. I'm a lot, we're all out. What's that up there? Think. So if I do 
this a whole bunch. All right, so then I can turn this into single sandstone, which will make wool too straight. So I need more either cobble or sand, and right now it's just too dangerous for me to go get sand. Although, as we've kind of proven earlier, it's pretty inconsequential. I want to see what... I, I know what the conversion is, but for you guys, I want to show you what this ends up converting into. Actually, I just had a, you know what, I think I have a different set of objectives I want to do. So this first episode, well, I did say the next episode would be figuring out what's up here, but we're already here. I think next episode, I want to head down, I want to build a whole bunch of cobble, head down to the bottom of the seafloor, and secure that. So I want to make like a little house or something down at the bottom of the um, what is it called? Whatever that is, whatever it's called down there, the sea. Then I make a wool, and that turns into a dirt. It's a horribly inefficient process, but this is going to be the easiest way for us to get dirt in the immediate future. And we have a melon. I want to do... I want to grow another set of sugar cane. Drop that in there. This gives us not a great food source, but a food source nonetheless. This will at least heal us for one. Apple, I got the book. I got some swords and stuff. Yeah, so next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the bottom. First thing I want to do is I want to get a dirt block or a sand block, something, and kind of stick it on the roof of, this, of that building to give us a safe spot to, like, a quick breathe area. Then what I want to do is I want to set up a base on the bottom of the seafloor there where hopefully, hopefully, I will, we can be protected from drown while we mine away. And I think that's going to be the plan for next time. After that, we'll worry about, ooh, a tree. We'll worry about, uh, we'll worry about housing, farming. Because this little farm with the melon, this should be enough to keep me going for a while yet. Maybe not a super long time, but I also notice I'm not blowing through food super fast. I've also got my bone meal, so I can quick crank out wheat if, when need be. But that is all the time we have for today. Uh, see you next time.